The following program contains images of an actual surgical procedure that may be graphic and disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. It can be a painful condition that disrupts life, and even though it affects almost all men at some point in their lifetime, help for the symptoms were limited until now. My name's Jerry Budd, a um, pretty active guy, largely healthy. But about 15 years ago, I noticed that little sensation that, like I need to go to the bathroom, even though it would only been an hour. And when I urinate, I can only clear the bladder down to about 40%. It gets old fast. It affects your intimacy. It affects you in terms of depression, concentration. I hardly ever sleep all the way through the night. You're constantly fatigued. So my urologist basically said, well, there is this new Urolift procedure that you ought to consider. Hey Jerry, how are you? How are you? Good to see you. Are you ready to do this? Absolutely. Lay straight back for me. I'm going to inject a little bit of local anesthetic. So for a young, healthy guy with an active sex life, the Urolift is really an ideal procedure. Very tiny implants are put into the prostate to pull it away from the urethra and allow that urethra to be open so that the urine can flow out easily. Jerry, the device is inside the prostate now. This is where the prostate starts. Here comes a needle stick, you ready? Based on the size of his prostate, we'll probably put four all together, so three more. All right, you ready? Here comes, it's gonna fire. That's halfway done. Here comes a needle stick. All right, Jerry, here comes a needle stick. Jerry, how you doing up there? I'm doing good. Good, we're just about done. And you can see now the prostate, whereas before those two lobes were touching each other. Yeah, now you can actually, you can see, actually see a channel between channel. them. All right, all good right. work, you did great. Joining us now is urologist Dr. Ernest Fitz, along with Jerry and his wife Nancy. And Jerry, first, I just want to ask you, since that was done, has life changed for you? It's, it's night and day. Wow. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you the difference. You know, having had similar issues myself, how's the sleeping going? Since the procedure, I was thinking about this before we walked out here, I think I've woken up maybe twice at night to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Dallas. I'm catching up. A little bit, yes, there is a little bit of jealousy there. All but, right. you know, we have you here, but so many men, problems with the prostate, and there are other options available other than just going straight to the classical procedure. Roto rooter. Tell us about that. Well, you know, the Roto rooter is considered the gold standard because it really is the most dramatic impact. It cores out the prostate, and there have been other less invasive procedures that have come along, but they all share a common characteristic in that they do something to destroy tissue in the prostate. They might have a minimally invasive way of destroying the tissue, but nonetheless, it's, it's one form or another of cooking the prostate. But uh, the Urolift is different in that it does not destroy any prostate tissue. The way this works, the prostate is basically a tunnel between the bladder and the penis, and the urine flows through it, and in the enlarging prostate, the walls of the tunnel are swelling and, and, and caving in. And so what this device does is it goes from the inside to the out, and it pinches close those tunnel walls, lifting and separating, allowing the urine to flow right through. Wow. How long until maybe there's an evolution of the gold standard? Because there are obviously a lot of side effects with the roto rootering, right. so to speak. Well, I think, I think that the evolution or the revolution is actually here now with a device like the Urolift because the Urolift actually has been demonstrated to have no sexual side effects in studies that are now out to four years. I feel like this is finally coming out of the darkness. The number of men who suffer with potential negative sexual side effects Oh, yeah. And, and no one wants to talk about it because it's really a difficult conversation to have. I don't think everybody is offering other options. Oh, than yeah. That. And this, that, is, that's, this is that's a relatively, issues. relatively new procedure. Not all urologists are doing it yet. The insurance coverage has gotten so much better now, but that was a barrier that was to an entry. Issue. There are a variety of procedures that all work very well. And not all procedures cause all side effects. Mm -hmm. Many men can get other minimally invasive procedures and also do well sexually. And Jerry, I want to ask you, no untoward side effects? Zero. Absolutely zero. Maybe, if, well, <laughs> obviously. And he's got a happy wife there. The smile proves it, right? <laughs> Indeed. Well, so, I'm really appreciative of you sharing this with us and Jerry allowing us to follow along. Um, th this is an important topic. I'm really glad that, that we have more options for men. Much more to come, everyone.